Welcome, fans. Uh, today's video is going to go over the theories for American Horror Story Season 6, and I've received the scariest freaking idea for Season 6 on my Twitter account. Uh, Zachary Stewart. Guys, I freaking screamed bloody murder when I saw this fan-made art. I have to show it to you. And also, we have confirmation pretty much on whether or not Jessica Lange is going to come back to American Horror Story for this season. We also have a little bit more casting information and rumors for you. Just a little bit of fun stuff. And, um, spoiler warning, if you don't want to be spoiled to the next season of American Horror Story, then don't watch the video. Alright fans, already went through the spoiler warning so I want to go through a special thank you real quick. And uh, this is to uh, Yabata. This is an online, um, I guess, newspaper. Uh, they're using my videos in their articles. So I just wanted to say you guys are rock stars. Thank you for doing that. That's awesome. So a special thanks to the writers of the two that I've seen so far, uh, Jason Borrell and Godfrey Bar Baressa. Hope I enunciated that correctly. So thank you very much, guys, and I'll put the links to the articles in the description below because I noticed as my traffic had it increased and I wondered where the heck it was coming from, so <laughs> now I know. So thank you guys very much. Okay, let's move on to the scariest thing you're going to see online. <sighs> Zachary Taylor sent me the most scariest freaking fan art ever. Take a deep breath, guys, with me. We can do this together. I can see it one more time, and I'll do it just for you. Let's take a deep breath. Let's clear our minds. And let's look at this fan art. Go. I will kill you. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, that is some scurry stuff. I feel bad just even showing it to you on my channel. So I I apologize. That, that I don't know if that went too far. Anyway, guys, using all of the information that Ryan and the cast have disclosed thus far, and today is May 16th, I think I've kind of got it pinned down of what the theme's going to be for American Horror Story Season uh, 6, which possibly it's going to be like a Stephen King It's kind of a storyline, except it's going to take place either in an orphanage or a boarding school. Uh, we're probably... Um, due to somebody had pointed out the child labor laws. I don't remember. I wish I would have wrote it down to the fan who noted it to me. One of the writers of the show tweeted that they can't use kids as much as they had hoped for due to laws. So this season isn't going to focus entirely on children. So I think that we're going to get something that happens to these kids in an orphanage or a boarding school when they're young. And then the, spo the story, though, is going to pick up when they're adults. That's how the season's going to start. When they're adults, we're going to see their individual lives, how they are right now. And the secret that takes them back to their childhood youth, not following Stephen King's It plotline. I'm, I'm just giving it as an example for sake, as something for you guys to mentally chew on. So I think the storyline is possibly going to follow five to ten kids from childhood to adolescence. Uh, or possibly we'll begin the story with them as adults and we'll flash back to them as kids at the orphanage or the boarding school. Now that would explain the two time periods and the use of children. So what do you guys think about the boarding school and the orphanage idea? There were a pretty good amount of you guys that had pointed out some great information. Um, such as... Uh, oh... I didn't write down the name, I apologize, but somebody had pointed out to me that it was called the Thatcher Boarding School that Scarlett and Lachlan went to in Season 5 of American Horror Story Hotel. So they were giving me the idea that possibly uh, the season is going to follow the children who were at the Thatcher Boarding School. Possibly that's the school that they're talking about. And also, Zombie Dude 245 pointed out to me that Evan Peters is filming Pirates of Somalia. Now, I don't think he's still currently filming it. I think he might be completed. I tried to find the information online, and it, it wasn't concise, and I wasn't going to report something to you guys that I'm not positive about. But uh, Zombie Dude 245 had basically pointed out to me that that's why he has the long beard in the picture that I pointed out in the previous video. So that's possibly an explanation. You know, again, 
comment to me, guys, what do you think below? Now, as far as the rest of, like, theories, uh, Tom Ford uh, pointed out he would like to see something like American Horror Story Mermaids or American Horror Story Illuminati. He had pointed out other things as well, but I thought those were pretty, you know, cool little top ones that nobody had mentioned before. So if you guys out there see any fan art for that, maybe shoot it my way. I would greatly, excuse me, I would greatly appreciate it. So as far as it goes for theme type, we have uh, Lanier Man 0245, one of my original commenters and subscribers. I like the idea that um, he or she, I, I do apologize, I don't know which one you are, I assumed he, uh, put out uh, called Children of the Corn type of a theme. And I thought that was a great one too. Season 5 seemed to kind of follow a tiny bit of The Shining with the kids and they kind of looked like twins, but still, it did kind of give us a, sting, a Stephen Kingish feel, especially with the carpet that was laid throughout uh, the, hotel, the, the Hotel Cortez. It was pretty much the exact same pattern that was used in the Hotel of the Shining. So the hotel for American Horror Story and Stephen King's um, film, well, excuse me, I guess I should say um, the film version of The Shining, they kind of had a lot of similarities to them this season. So I wonder if season six is going to kind of maybe catch on the same thing. And I thought that was pretty cool when he pointed out the children of the corn uh, type of theme. And then we also have a lot of fans out there believe that this season the main character is going... They, they Maybe they're not saying exactly that it's orphanage or boarding school or, or one way or another. But they're pretty certain that this season is going to focus on Dr. Oliver Threadson as a child. Possibly in an orphanage. So boarding school and orphanage are pretty much the two running head-to-head -head themes right now in, in my idea seems to be the same way online. A lot of people out there still think it's going to be Slender Man, which now that I just thought about it, I wish I would have written it down. Somebody out there had, getting, have, had given me a great idea that possibly Slender Man should just be um, a folklore story told at the orphanage as like a scary story to scare kids and all of a sudden, you know, it, it's, it, they find out that it's true. So it's just not something for the show to focus on as a main theme. Just something to kind of add in as like a little fun, scary element like they did Twisty the Clown in season four with Freak Show. I thought that was a pretty nice theme and I wish I would have written it down. So thank you to whoever suggested it. I feel silly now for not writing it down. Now, um, Lewis Hutchinson sent a link to Evan, Feeder, to Evan Peters' fan, fan Facebook page. I'm sorry guys, I guess I'm getting a little tongue-tied after I couldn't remember who gave me the I, the idea before this. Um, I think it's a fan art that Evan Peters had posted on this on his Facebook page. I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can, to can go take a look. <laughs> Excuse me. Evan Peters posted this to his Facebook page on in January 2016. So it was too early, really, for the writers to kind of even start leaking out any information. And I don't think that they would actually have put this together that early. But, you know, you guys take a look. Tell me what you think of the picture that Evan Peters posted on his Facebook. I'll post it right here, right now, uh, just real quick so you guys can take a look at it. So again, guys, I'll put the link in the description below. You can go take a look at it yourself and let me know what you think, if this is something maybe that's going to happen or not, or possibly Evan was just posting something that he liked for the next season of American Horror Story on his uh, Facebook page. Let's see. Now let's move on real quick to casting information. Jessica Lang, guys, I am so... So sorry to say this, but it's not a confirmation just yet. But Jessica Lang has got the starring role in Ryan Murphy's new show, Feud. Which, Murphy's got to be a pretty busy man right now. He's writing, you know, American Horror Story, Scream Queens. He just came off of The People vs. OJ. And then he's got Feud. I mean, Murphy's a pretty busy guy. Uh, but Jessica Lang has the starring role on his new show. So it's highly doubtful that since she will be taking 
the role for uh, the main character role for feud that she will be coming back for American Horror Story. So again, it is not 100% confirmed, but it's more than likely that Jessica Lange will not be returning to American Horror Story for season six. Now, I guess I am very still disappointed in that. I miss her very much on the show, but I'm looking forward to seeing her in a new Ryan Murphy show. A new show, something new for her. Uh, I, I think this is going to be a really great experience for us as fans and for her as an actress, and especially for Murphy as a writer. So I, I got to say, the news is very disappointing because it's going in the opposite direction of what we want. However, um, again, maybe this will be a very good thing, and Jessica Lang will make Ryan Murphy's new show, Feud, a smashing success. Now, talking about an actress who might be coming back, guys, I don't know if you know or not, but Connie Britton, who was Vivian Harmon in season one of American Horror Story, Murder House. Now, she's rumored to return because Nashville, which is the show that she is currently starring on right now, that show has been canceled, unfortunately, which kind of makes me wonder. I never watched the show personally. Uh, I just don't, again, I don't really have much time to watch TV, but a lot of people loved Nashville. They loved that show. Couldn't stop talking good things about it. So it kind of makes me wonder why they canceled Nashville. But maybe their cancellation is our good fortune. Maybe Connie Britton will be coming back for season six of American Horror Story. So there is an open doorway there for us as fans and for her as an actor. And so, uh, guys, again, I'm really hoping she returns. I think this is bad news that the show was canceled, but it's great news because maybe, again, that means she'll come back to American Horror Story and we will get our beloved Connie Britton back. Now, as far as I can see, guys, that looks like that is everything. So if you could please do me a favor, uh, please send me uh, any in anything that you have that you, uh, any fan art that you find that you think is cool, you can send it to my Twitter account. You can um, post the link here. Uh, I'll also have my Twitter account link at the bottom, uh, my name and all that stuff. You know, all that, all that social media stuff that you guys do. I'll put all that stuff down at the bottom. So you can go down there and post it for me. And if you guys find some really cool articles or maybe some awesome fan art, just let me know and I'll post it here. Also, if you guys have a really great fan theory, or if you think you have it nailed down of what next season's going to be about, post it here too, because I'm going to do another video and take the best fan theories, especially the ones that are voted highest in the comments, and I'm going to do a special video about them. Now, again, guys, please look forward to those character videos. I do apologize. They are taking a little bit. My health is just going a little wacky right now, and it's just... Uh, keeping me from finishing some important things that I would love to finish right now. So uh, don't forget to hit the like button below, guys, if you like the video. And please don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, subscribe if you like. It's fine to me. I'm getting a little too many now, so I really like the interaction that I have with you guys, and I'm trying to respond to every single one of you as much as I can. So if I don't respond, just give me a little time. I love talking with you guys and thank you so much for bombing my comment section with your awesome freaking theories. Thank you very much. And this is Merry Girl Moody saying thanks for watching guys and see you next video. Have you noticed Marge is back? Now, we're, su we're supporting her sobriety right now, okay? She hasn't fallen off her wagon just yet. So we are supporting her sobriety. So do what you can. Let's, let's keep watching these videos. Let's keep supporting Marge. <laughs> Otherwise, she'll fall off the wagon again. <laughs>